It's the sports series that captures all the drama of a high school football team in small town America. It has the stoic and enigmatic coach who often speaks in metaphors that no one understands but himself. Coach, 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 do you think you guys still will win state even though star tailback Mitch Westbrook is out for the season? Uh, it's going to be tough. You know, we're going to have to pull together as a group. Uh, but, you know, it reminds me of what some my grandfather used to tell us. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you're buying pencils, sometimes you're selling them. So uh, we're just going to have to see where it goes. Thanks, guys. This show even has the 35-year-old actor playing the 17-year-old quarterback and captain of the team. It's non-stop drama from beginning to end. Even minute things become dramatic in this small town. Katie should be home from school here in a little while. I think I'm uh, gonna grab a pop out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. You had the last pop from yesterday, remember? God damn it, Carol! Right when you think things couldn't get any more unnecessarily dramatic, you're introduced to all the complex high school relationships. I love you. We're going to be together for the rest of our lives. I love you too. You think you'll still be with me if we don't win state? No, of course not. I only date winners. Also, I cheated on you last night. What? You just said we were going to be together forever. Sorry, people change. We're done. What? No, come back. Damn it. Dude, what's going on? What happened? Stacy, she left me. Stacy, I thought you guys were like forever. Apparently she cheated on me with someone last night. Dude, that was me. What? You had sex with my girlfriend? What do you mean, dude? Stacy's like really, really hot. Am I gonna not bang your girlfriend? This show is about more than overly dramatic dialogue. It also has various shots of this player looking intensely, because no matter where he is, all he can think about is the big game. Sir, do you want anything? What more could you want? Oh, how about this? The home team faces adversity when they lose to their rivals at the end of the season, and the hometown faithful do not take it well. What was the coach doing? That was so humiliating, I'm aroused. And the coach's wife can't even fuck well. Dude, what? Dude, she fucks so good, dude. Don't be rude about that. Yeah, dude, well, that doesn't explain why building seven went down. <laughs> Out there on the field, they weren't even playing with the ball. That was such a great ball. Yeah. Also, they changed the mascot this year. I know. Go and it's like the other one was hotter. <laughs> what was the Cubs thinking? This guy's a fucking asshole. It was like they were asleep. Fucking drunk. I'm keen. It's like team. I love them when they win, but they lost. Yeah. They weren't even wearing cups. I was looking at their chunks the whole time. I didn't see a single piece of text. Not one of them was hard. It's been called the most motivational show ever created. Seriously, 80% of the show is just pep talks. Even when you don't think a pep talk is necessary. Excuse me, I wrote a meatball stuff. Sorry, sir. Listen to me. There's a time in every man's life where he deals with adversity. It's how he deals with that adversity that defines him as a man. You're right, but I mean, it's not a big deal. If you want us to remake the sandwich, we can remake the sandwich. You know what? I like your attitude. You ever think about playing football? Wait, what, like f football? I'm 100 pounds, five or six. Can't play ball, man. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the dog doesn't, size doesn't matter. 
You can do this. It's not just about winning games on the field. It's about building character in young men. Oh man, that was a long fucking day. Oh. Oh, what the fuck, man? What are you, how did you get in my house? Son, we need to have a talk. About what? I told y'all to play high school football, man. I'm a grown ass man. You weren't at practice yesterday. You gotta be crazy. Are you insane? I don't wanna play, man. What do you want from me? Your heart. You better get the fuck out of my house. It has the New York Times saying rave review. That's how you're gonna do this? That's how you're gonna do it? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I could take it uh, out of the top. Uh, uh, you guess you could do it? Do it again! Winners don't guess. Winners do. Right. No, okay, do it! Okay, okay. Jesus Christ! That dude is a fucking psycho, dude. Not one of them was hard. The coach's wife can't even fuck well. People change. We're done. No, come back! Football Town.